be the world's most respected African bank, it isn't just about the financial performance. <coughs> it's about understanding our position on the world stage. Any organization that just looks at financial returns misses the point about the role that we should play. Financial returns are important because it means we have a sustainable presence. But it's about what we do with that presence, which is why everybody is here today. The way we drink the National Bank is that we try to empower communities by trying to help individuals reach their full potential. So we're working jointly with Pip Choker, together with UNICEF, um, and we're going to basically go out and draw up um, a lot of support from our friends, um, customers, well wishers. And for those who are coming here for the first time, while you're going to enjoy lunch, you know, you just know that you are also going to support this body because that's why you are here with us. <laughs> And throughout the year, what we do is we develop children, we help with the schools, we help with the education. We do this in conjunction with UNICEF and Fifth Chaka. So we're here today at the Gars Polo Ground in the UK. And in partnership with Fifth Chaka and UNICEF, we're working really hard to support and give a hand to ensure the brighter future of underprivileged, orphaned children in northern Nigeria. And we've, we've done pretty well so far. With your support, we can do much, much, much more. And that's why we're here today, and we'll continue to do it. It, it fits our vision, it fits our mission, and it fits our desire to give back. One thing I can guarantee you today is that we're going to have great, great fun. But even as we sit down to enjoy the afternoon, let us always remember the reason we are here, which is to raise money for a water cross. We are very honored for the second year uh, that we've had the event here at Guards to have the Emir of Kano uh, making time to come here. We have to look at the children who truly are the future of our country and look for ways to support them uh, through different interventions, whether it's through healthcare, it is through education, etc. For us to have a greater tomorrow in our country. We have done this for about nine years now, and all we're trying to do is to see how we can intervene. Uh, in the lives of this, uh, these people who are disadvantaged, for one reason or the other. I mean, either by war or by civil strife or by oh my God. the bet or by bet. So we came up with this idea to create um, this tournament, which will be played on an annual basis and fundraise uh, for projects in um, health, education and capacity development. We had a wonderful evening today, uh, just as we've done in the seven years before. We will go and see those children and see what we can start doing. We'll intervene in areas of health um, and begin to think of things we can do as far as education is concerned for those children. We want you all to join us. Um, it's something that we believe in. We think every Nigerian should support. Um, we can make our country a much better place and enable these little children to take their tomorrow. Thank you. Someday I hope to stand and speak at the UN General Assembly because of Access Bank. I'm closer to access my tomorrow.